dear students continuing with our lecture series on multiple choice question problems uh, on organic reaction mechanism uh, this is our sixth lecture and uh, again uh, like uh, in the previous lectures we will discuss five more unique problems uh, based on organic reaction mechanism so first problem is uh, when these types of uh, steroidal compounds they are reacted under uh, acidic conditions they undergo many types of skeletal rearrangement and uh, when this uh, cholestinone uh, alpha beta unsaturated cholestinone uh, is reacted in presence of sulfuric acid out of these four uh, what can be uh, the most uh, suitable product which can be formed through different skeletal so this is our first problem second problem is that what will be the product formed uh, when uh, benzamidazolium bromide this is uh, the benzamidazolium ring so when uh, the ionic salt that is uh, benzamidazolium bromide ester is reacted with uh, dimethyl acetylene dicarbox uh, carboxylate so dmad in presence of uh, normal basic condition for example triethyl uh, amine when reacted as a catalyst uh, then what will be the product of uh, these two substrates out of these uh, four products then third problem is uh, what is the product of reaction of 5 allyl 1 2 3 trimethoxy benzene so this is our 5 allyl 1 2 3 trimethoxy benzene when this is reacted with n methyl uh, formanolide in presence of uh, phosphorus oxychloride what will be the product out of these four whether a carbo cyclic product will be formed or a heterocyclic product we have to see that uh, which of these four product is the correct answer for this reaction and uh, what is the mechanism of formation of the product uh, then uh, these types of uh, heterocyclic uh, cyclic uh, sulfides uh, when they are reacted with uh, sodium hydride in methyl iodide in presence of N methyl pyrrolidine, uh, pyrrolidinone, uh, what is the product formed out of these uh, four choices? Then, fifth problem is uh, these types of uh, polyesters uh, which are open chain. Uh, having a cyclopropyl ring uh, in the substrate when they are reacted with uh, these types of uh, sulfoxide salts uh, in presence of dimethyl sulfoxide out of these four what will be the most stu uh, suitable product formed in such reactions and how this product is formed so these are the five problems uh, where you can see the reaction conditions are very simple and uh, the product formed is a unique product formation and this is not a normal product but in all cases you will see that an abnormal product is formed. So the answer to all these problems is uh, in the first case choice is B in the second choice is D, in the third choice is A, in the fourth choice is D and in the fifth choice is C. Now we will see one by one how uh, these choices uh, they are formed through the mechanism of the reaction. So when this uh, alpha beta unsaturated uh, steroidal ketone uh, is reacted under acidic conditions uh, this H positive will get attached to the keto which will create a, a, an electropositive uh, nature of this carbon 
which will lead to the movement of this pi electrons towards this to neutralize this positive charge on oxygen and ultimately uh, we will get this type of carbocation and then this carbocation uh, will lead to the attack of uh, this carbon carbon uh, bond to this carbon and a six membered ring will be converted into a five membered ring and this type of uh, carbocation will be formed through a skeletal rearrangement and this can uh, further undergo uh, a resonance uh, movement of pi electrons uh, a resonating structure of this type can be uh, formed from uh, this carbocation then uh, this carbon carbon bond uh, then can again undergo ring expansion a five membered ring will be converted into a six membered ring uh, which is uh, on the basis of this numbering you can see that this type of carbocation is formed and from here uh, we can remove uh, the proton which was added in the first step and here uh, this proton is removed and a carbon carbon bond is formed to complete the aromatization and this is how these types of alpha beta unsaturated ketones they are converted into phenols uh, phenolic steroids uh, as the product so this is how this b choice is the correct answer for the first problem uh, then second uh, problem is uh, in the first step uh, benzamidazolium bromide reacts with the catalyst that is trithylamine and uh, these protons uh, these protons are very acidic because of the presence of this ester group and because carbonyl is an electron withdrawing group so uh, these esters they can be converted into these types of enolo uh, enolates uh, in presence of uh, trithylamine so from here trithyl ammonium bromide is removed as the uh, side product then this enolate reacts with the uh, uh, second uh, substrate that is dmad dimethylacetylene and dicarboxylate so uh, this enolate will attack this carbon this is a symmetrical molecule either it can attack this carbon or this carbon we will get the same product so if attacks this carbon this will attack this nitrogen to neutralize the positive charge on this nitrogen uh, we will get this type of uh, formation of a cyclic structure uh, then uh, this proton again is acidic proton because of the presence of this ester group and it can be easily removed by the base so triethylamine will remove this proton and movement of uh, this electron will take place like this and uh, this will acquire a carbon nitrogen uh, double bond here then uh, this will uh, undergo rotation and uh, then this uh, 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 this nitrogen having the negative charge uh, will interact uh, with this ester group and uh, this will undergo cyclization to give us this membered uh, this type of six membered uh, pyroloxo quinoxaline uh, derivative and uh, this with the removal of uh, trithyl ammonium uh, ethoxide we will get the product that is our choice then uh, in third problem answer is uh, choice a so here basically uh, this is a wells mirror hack reagent which is formed in the first step so this is a modified version of wells mirror uh, hack reaction where whereas in case of wells mirror hack re uh, reaction we use uh, dmf uh, that is nn dimethyl formamide but here uh, one of the methyl group is replaced by phenyl so n methyl formanalide is used in place of uh, dmf 
but the second thing is same uh, phosphorus oxychloride so this n methyl formanolide in the first step will react with phosphorus oxychloride in this way to generate Welsmere hack reagent and we know this Welsmere hack reagent can interact with the aromatic ring in this way and we will get these types of intermediates and then uh, this uh, nitrogen using its lone pair can remove this halogen to create a carbon nitrogen double bond where this nitrogen will be having a positive charge and then uh, the chloride ion which has been formed will remove this uh, proton uh, from here to complete the aromatization of the ring and we will get this type of intermediate uh, then uh, this uh, alpha proton uh, to the ring is removed by uh, this uh, dichlorophosphate uh, ion and uh, then this double bond will interact with the Welsmere hack reagent and we will get this type of intermediate and this intermediate again uh, this nitrogen will use its lone pair of lactone with the uh, formation of a carbon nitrogen double bond over here with the removal of halogen atom uh, chloride ion from here and then we are now having these types of structures where both the nitrogens they are having the positive charge then uh, this uh, intermediate will undergo shifting of hydrogen from one carbon to carbon 3 and so from this carbon to uh, hydrogen from this carbon is shifted to this carbon and this double bond will come to this place. So this is the structure wherein uh, there will be a uh, shifting of hydrogen from carbon 1 to carbon 3. So 1, 3 hydrogen shift is taking place. Then in this case uh, 1, 5 hydrogen shifts take place 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So uh, hydrogen 5 at carbon 5 will shift uh, from here to here and we will get this type of intermediate and then uh, the chloride ion which was generated at this place uh, this will interact with the carbon nitrogen double bond and uh, the cyclization will take place at uh, uh, this carbon nitrogen double bond and you can see that uh, positive charge on one of the nitrogen uh, is neutralized and then in the next step this part will undergo uh, addition of water molecule whereas uh, this proton is removed by this uh, dichlorophosphide and uh, ultimately this uh, N methyl and phenyl uh, group will be removed from here uh, by formation of a carbon carbon double bond at this place and addition of water will lead to the formation of these types of uh, alpha hydroxy amines as the product and then uh, this will undergo uh, keto uh, ketonization with the removal of this part of the molecule and we will get uh, our product that is choice a dihydronephthalene derivatives they are found as the Then uh, fourth problem is these types of uh, heterocyclic sulfides uh, under in the presence of sodium hydride this hydride ion uh, will abstract this uh, proton and hydrogen gas will be removed from here with the formation of this enolate. Then this enolate will interact with methyl iodide to give us uh, the this type of product so uh, alkylation will take place at this carbon and we will get uh, this product which is choice A right now uh, this uh, enolate is a resonance hybrid of uh, this uh, carbonine also so this carbonine can be formed uh, from this uh, this enolate and then this carbonine can undergo uh, cyclization at this place to form a uh, three-membered uh, ring containing sulfur 
and uh, this type of uh, inulate is formed which can be rewritten like this then this inulate can interact with methyl iodide in this way so s alkylation will take place uh, through this step with the removal of iodide ion. then uh, one more molecule of sodium hydride will abstract this proton from here which will lead to the formation of this type of inulate now this inulate can uh, undergo alkylation in two ways either it can uh, undergo o alkylation so then this uh, oxygen active will interact with one molecule of methyl iodide and we will get uh, this type of uh, o alkylated product that is choice c or uh, it can undergo alkylation at this carbon and we can get this uh, type of product which is choice b so that means uh, when uh, these types of substrates they are reacted with uh, sodium hydride in presence of methyl iodide then all the three types of products a b and c choices they are formed and when all the three are formed our choice is d in that case that all the products they are formed in this reaction then uh, fifth problem is uh, the reaction of these types of uh, polyesters so uh, these uh, uh, sulfur ylates they react with uh, these esters and uh, the alpha hydrogens present alpha to this uh, ketone they are very acidic due to the presence of these two uh, ester groups at this place and these can be easily removed by this carbonyl uh, and this will generate a carbonyl at this place and then this carbonyl will attack this carbon uh, carbon double bond with the uh, opening of this cyclopropyl ring uh, this carbon carbon double bond will break with, with which will generate a carbonyl at this carbon so we will have this type of uh, this carbonyl is converted into this type of carbon then uh, this can be written like this then this carbonyl will attack this carbon with the breaking of this carbon-carbon uh, bond and the carbonyl is generated at this place then this will undergo cyclization with the removal of methoxy group and uh, if five membered cyclic ring is formed then this again uh, methoxy group uh, methoxy uh, group eliminated in this step this will act as a base and remove this uh, methyl with the uh, elimination of one molecule of uh, carbon dioxide and one molecule of dimethyl ether from this molecule and this will lead to the formation of this type of enol and then this enol uh, will undergo keto enol tautomerization uh, to give us these types of products which is our choice c so this is how all these products they are formed and uh, you can see that in all the cases abnormal products or unique products they are formed in these problems Thank you very much.